Vermintide 2 is a great game, but sometimes the connection you have with your host can hold you back. If you're like me and you have friends in different parts of the world, then sometimes the connection is not always the best. Even if a host has consistent ethernet, playing with ping in excess of 200 can be rather difficult. So today I'm going to share with you guys what is, in my opinion, the very best build for high ping situations in the quick play mode of Vermintide 2. But before I get into all that, let's talk about our character today. We're going with Battle Wizard, which is not really a surprise as she is one of the strongest, if not the strongest, characters in the game now. Her passive ability, Tranquility, after not casting spells for six seconds, she automatically ventilates her overcharge. This is a very useful passive because we are going to be spending a lot of time blocking with this setup. So when our overcharge gets too high, we can just hold block and it'll automatically vent for us. Pretty nice. Her career skill, Firewalk. Sienna teleports forward, leaving a blanket of fire in her wake that lingers for six seconds. She also has two perks. The first one, Reckless Haste, overcharge increases spell charge up speed by up to 30%. And then she's got Pyromanic Surge, increased range damage by 10%. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the talents. So for our melee weapon, we're going to be running the dagger. But for our temp health, we're gonna want Confound. That staggering enemies gives us temp health. Now there's no cap to the amount of temp health you can get with a staggered THP talent in a single swing. It's whatever you can manage. And it also gives you temp health from simply pushing as well. All right, so you're probably looking at this level 10 line and before you laugh me out of the room, let me say this. When you're playing with 200 or more ping, there are a couple things that you're going to have to accept. Because the ping you will be playing with is so high, you're going to want to let go of a few notions that you would probably employ under normal circumstances. By this, I mean don't worry about damage. No one expects a high ping player to top score. No one expects a high ping player to like take out a patrol or murder a monster or something. All you need to worry about doing when playing with high ping is surviving and contributing. That's it. So we're taking Lingering Flames. Sienna's burning effects now last until the affected enemy dies. Burning effects do not stack. So this is going to pair quite nicely with our staff, the Conflag, because all you'll have to do when there are enemies around is as quick as you can, pull out that Conflag, light some enemies, you'll stagger them a little bit, and then you can block, and you can just watch them die. Now, of course, if you see areas to get like quick safe hits in, by all means go for it. But with ping that high, you're going to want to maximize your chances of surviving. Meaning you want to block as long as you can while also doing as much damage as you possibly can. And Lingering Flames allows you to do that. On the level 15 line, you want to take Enhanced Power, a 7.5% boost to your total power level. This is going to help your range damage a little bit for your cleave and stagger as well. On the level 25 line, Unusually Calm reduces the tranquility cooldown from six seconds to three seconds, so less time you have to wait to use your staff. On the level 25 line, in the name of survivability, you're definitely gonna wanna take Soot Shield. Igniting an enemy reduces damage taken by 10% for five seconds, stacks up to three times. So this is gonna be pretty much no problem to get 30% damage reduction whenever you want and is going to make you rather tanky. And then for her level, 30 line down here burnout is the one we want firewalk can be activated a second time within 10 seconds so this one's really good it's going to give you double the mobility it's going to drastically improve your odds of like reviving a teammate or keeping a monster stun locked or being able to like push a monster off a ledge or something. And now for the equipment. As I mentioned, the melee weapon today, we're going with the dagger. We're going full defense with extra stamina, extra block cost reduction, and parry as our trait. Stamina and block cost because we're going to be spending the majority of our time blocking. However, the extra stamina will help us as this weapon has an inherent move tech in it with its push attack, light attack combination. So if we need uh, a quick burst of movement speed, that extra stamina is gonna help us out. And it also kind of goes hand in hand with parry. Parry is time to blocks, reduce the stamina to cost by 100%. There's a really good approved mod in the workshop for PC players called Parry Indicator. This uh, lets your shields turn green when parry is active, basically. So anytime parry is active and you block hits, it's not gonna take any stamina. And for the staff, we are going with the Conflag staff. On it, I run Chaos Infantry and Thermal Equalizer. Thermal Equalizer, 20% less 
overcharge generated that's going to let you just cast it more often the benefit of running the con flag staff is that it actually goes pretty well with lingering flames as you can cover a large area at once or you can cast many small circles in a horde or something to keep it staggered this will protect your team while also lighting the entire it up and letting lingering flames do the damage for you while you block on the necklace i'm running another extra stamina and extra block cost production and natural bond running these exact properties will give you a total of 60 percent block cost reduction and five stamina shields on your dagger and because we're going to be spending so much of our time blocking we're not exactly going to be making tons of temp health so natural bond will slowly heal us on my charm i'm simply running power verse chaos and a power verse skaven with concoction Power's Chaos and Power vs. Skaven is just an even spread of damage to all enemies, and Concoction lets me get my ult back by drinking any kind of potion whenever I want. On my Trinket, I run Cooldown Reduction, Stamina Recovery, and Explosive Ordinance. The Cooldown Reduction, even though it only takes like a few seconds off, basically, I don't care, you know? I'm not going to be meleeing very often, I don't need the crit chance. Being able to ult more often, especially with a character with a really good ult like Battle Wizard, is immeasurably important and then i also have a 30 percent stamina recovery just to help me out defensively when i'm blocking explosive ordinance is for my fire bombs so there you have it guys this is my very own high ping build that i do use when i am not hosting and i'm playing with like my friends in australia or my friends in turkey or, or europe or wherever the, wherever the hell you know you spend the majority of your time blocking with a super tanky melee weapon setup and you let lingering flames do the work for you as you stay alive you will take the least amount of damage of your party usually and you will be competitive in overall damage you will have to trust your team to handle monsters and chaos warriors but you would probably have to do that anyway since your ping is so high you might as well be as useful as possible. So let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section down below. If you like it, feel free to subscribe to this channel and leave a like. I also have a Twitch and a Discord with about 1,400 people in there. So if you're looking for people to play with and maybe try out this new high ping build, fancy, fresh, hot off the presses, feel free to join that. That's it for me, guys. Have a nice Easter.